Да. Ready to play? Push it back a little bit into the mask. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, that's better. Thank you. Peter, can you just put them together? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Adam Hall, Scotland, and Peter Mills, England. And on my left, Rafael Beck, Peter Kessbauer, Germany. Peter Mills to serve to Rafael Beck. Lowell. Play. This should be a super men's doubles. Uh, you've got Peter Mills uh, serving, Adam Hall at the back, who's uh, one of the top uh, coming young Sorry, doubles double. players in Britain. One love. Getting very, very good results in mixed doubles and uh, men's doubles. Playing against a um, very good German love. pair of Beck and Kalsa. And I would expect this to be a very good One, tactical two. match because um, very uh, little lifting. If you look around the courts, there's four coaches, so they would have been uh, well um, drilled in uh, the tactics for the match. Really good power smashes from Adam Hall there. And uh, you'll see that the sure. pair that lifts often loses a point. And there was a bit of a switch in that rally, but it's often the pair that uh, lifts. So really hard for them to... Two. To win the point when they've given the lift away.
So really the German pair should switch into the fact that um, when Four, they've got it on two. the uh, British pair's backhand side, they've done a cross drop, so one of the players should be really covering that part of the court. And uh, so both of them should be advancing. Very good play from Adam Hall again. Five, two. And I really, th really do think that uh, Adam could be a bright future star in Badminton. Play, Rafael. Trains Ready. down at Milton Keynes full time. And he's a fine mix player as well. Service over. Three, five. Out. And all the Sorry, time I've seen Scottish players going down to uh, Milton Keynes uh, in the English and British setup, magnificent uh, training centre they've got there. But it's always the Scots that don't seem to get the fair rub of the green with partners and uh, partnership angles. And I hope it's different Four, for six. Adam. Because he certainly deserves it. Service over. Seven. Four. Both pairs really looking for the gaps. And it's this sharpness Eight, around the net four. that uh, wins out. We've seen it in the last game that was played and Adam just displayed it there. He's attacking from the net and then his racket's up and he's really closing down the angles. And we've seen it again there. They closed Sorry, down the on. angles and the person set the net really uh, punishing the loose net shot. Five, eight. Service over, 9-5. And the British pair definitely looking the sharper at the moment. Um, both Seven, pairs are using five. good tactics. Both pairs are doing the right sort of things, looking for the gaps in the mid-court, looking for any openings at the net, not giving the lift away easily, but it's the uh, British pair that are looking much sharper. And they seem to be the ones that are, are pushing and pressing the net. Service over. Six, ten. Service fault called. Service over. 11 6. Intro, Peter. The German cars are just being um, called for, I think, racket high above uh, his waist. And the problem is that it really affects your serving for your next service and uh, puts pressure on 
to keep your serve legal so Course the service judge is doing his job. Course one, 20 seconds. Who I believe is young Jonathan Cranston, who goes to the West of 11, Scotland University. Six. I think he's a president of their Lay. athletic union for all sports. Service over, 7-11. That's 7-11. A lot of pressure on the serve. And if you notice, well, the player that was seven. off the shuttle there, Adam Hall, he was just on the tee, his racket was up around his shoulder height, which would be net height, and that is perfect. Service over, 8-12. And on a coaching point, you'll see that um, when they're making these really effective exchanges at the net, they're not big swings, they're really short strokes. And that's what players should practice, because big swings take them out the back and you've not got as much control. So if you notice, it's all short, powerful strokes. Very small. That's a lovely shot by Peter Mills. Good rotation. Very good rally this. I think Adam should have cut that out. Nine, twelve. Very good rally. And it was really the uh, defensive pair that uh, won that rally. But they did it by uh, counter-attacking and making the last uh, couple of shots very flat play. And when it's flat like that, it goes down to a 50-50 situation. Whereas when they've lifted in the air, there's about an 80% chance that they're going to lose a point. So Nine, the more four. gaps you can look for, the more you're Eight. taking control of the net, the more you're making the other pair be defensive, the more effective you are. Ten, twelve. Service over, 13, 10. And again it's the sharpness of the British pair that's really uh, impressing me. And they've both, both shown flashes of brilliance where they've um, intercepted at the net and been sharp. And Adam Hall certainly showed it there. 14, 10, Peter. Really lovely turn of defence there. <coughs> Peter Mills broke a string in there. That rally, he knew it, but he was going to continue the rally exactly as he should do. Showed a mark of professionalism there. And 
you probably would have seen him take the net more and leave Adam to uh, cover the rear of the court. Peter Mills, who's a really fine doubles player, he's um, showing a lot of maturity in this match and a sharpness that's very impressive. Good deception and disguise there. Real variation in attack. Again, I think that should have been Adams. Should have been a little bit sharper. Still comes up with the winner. And this is how they show improvement. Um, I think there's a few that Adam could have cut out in that sort of uh, forecourt area. You need a lot of confidence to do it. That's where the experience comes in. 17, 10. So they're chipping away, getting the odd point. Uh, lead, good, good judgment at the back of the court. And they build up a 17-10 lead which really would be hard for the other team to uh, break into now because it's been a really tight men's doubles Twelve. Seventeen. I've seen both pairs doing the right thing and the only thing that I'm going to um, put as a biggest factor is that the British pair are showing a lot more sharpness around the mid to four court and that's such an important part of men's doubles and you've seen it there exactly what I'm talking Double about there um, 18, Mills 12. was so sharp in that instance Oh, beautiful play by Adam Hall. Service over. Again, Starting. I'm going to put the blame Starting. on Adam there that uh, he goes for a shot. He should have been ready. And uh, I see that um, brilliant young player, but he's got to sharpen up his act on that front line. And these boys Service would spend over. hours and hours 19. doing drills, Starting. drives, working on that net and uh, that Sam Mills has become so sharp himself he would be doing that on a daily basis beautiful play from Adam Hall there Bolt. and they withstood the pressure 20 Game point, 13. Twenty thirteen lead. They'll be looking to close this out. Bolt. Service over. Fourteen twenty. And yeah. really a cheap point out at the back of the court. I was looking very closely at Casbell's serve now. I'm a long way away uh, from the court. Um, but I would say that's borderline. And it must be a very difficult job for uh, Jonathan Cranston to um, uh, to police that because um, it's definitely borderline, that serve.
Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Second game. Wow. Oh, oh. Play. One love. Service over. One all. And this would be very hard for the German pair to turn around because one all. the British pair have shown that they're just that bit sharper, that um, really Two, tactically one. they're gaining the lift, able to do a little bit more on defence. But it could always be famous last words. It's two all. Service over. Two all. Service over. Three two. Four, two. Five, two. The German pair just showing a real tenacity in holding the net here. That's why they've been able to gain a few point advantage. But there we see Mills with a very, very sharp play Three, at the net. They just got to keep focused, keep concentrated, and not let the German boys into the match. Service over. Six, three. Big smashes from Mills there. Service over. I'm really um, impressed with his experience. Four, six. Professionalism on the court. I can remember watching him as a junior. And there you, you saw both players really fighting for the net, Five, and that's what it takes. Six. Both their rackets were up around the shoulder height, which is just above the net height, and that's perfectly right. So 5-6 are back in this um, game when they had a sort of a three or four point deficit. Service over. 7-5. Either. Either. Mm. 
very good serve. A little bit of a waste here because it was a good serve. Six, seven. Left. Peter Mills just making his opponent wait a little bit there. The other thing you'll notice in this men's doubles is how that often they go for the middle of the players. They'll either go for the right hip or middle of the players and that's perfectly right. What you don't want to be doing is going out onto the person's backhand side so you open up the angles. Service over seven eight. Yes, Rafael, please use the towel. Okay, don't drop step, but use the towel. Really threatening here just out but he was so threatening at that and, and he placed it in a really good place but just a bit too tight probably out by a couple of centimeters oh soft error really nine eight And Beck and Kauser, they've um, either been level or in the lead the whole time here. And here's the British boy's chance to uh, get it back. Lovely, lovely uh, deceptive shot into the deep backhand side. Nine, oh. Again, it's Mills to Kauser. And you look at the um, threatening stance of the German here. And it's really from that very first receive, the threat and uh, attack like that, that um, the setup was made. Because there was only probably three or four shots within that rally. Oh, it's a lovely shot from Mills again. It's first time we've been level at 10-10. Great return from Beck there, who to me doesn't have quite the same uh, aggressive stance on the front line that his partner has. Andrew Bowman coaching the British pair, I'm sure he's going to be saying uh, gain the attack. And he will have done analysis on the match and tell them where the best place to push to to gain that attack. Court one, 20 seconds. Court Andrew one. Andrew goes out there seconds. in a very calm manner and uh, makes sure that the information gets through to the players. Eleven turn late. Out. Service over. Change. Mills really putting pressure on the server there. Out. And these serves have to be so tight, uh, otherwise they're going to be put away. Oh, 
careless uh, mistake there 12, from Cowser. 11. And if you looked at that, Mills was everywhere on that court. And um, if he could have shortened his stroke on that very last shot, it would have been in. Because if you shorten the stroke, then you shorten the shot. Um, but it was well, a little well. bit long for the swing, Adam. and that carried the shot. So there's your fast furious exchange and the Twelve. British pair going the lead for the very first time. And it's the right point in the, t the uh, game to try and go in the lead. This is a real pressure area, this um, 12 and 13. Someone needs to make a break now. That's a great serve. Notice they play the centre of the court. Centre of the court, on his backhand side, centre of the court, centre of the court, and basically all down the centre. 14. And that's good men's doubles, and that's how it's worked. 14 12 to the British pair, and that's just what they want that little buffer now. German pair will be desperate to get back into the match. And there can just be that little bit more relaxed, uh, trying to um, keep that little buffer, which has just been eroded by one 13, point, 14. 13, 14. So everything went down the centre again and it's now even. So notice all of that was at the right hip and it's often the Sorry, one summer. at the net. Adam there, that uh, front line, uh, was able to uh, score the decisive winning shot. 15, 14. Front line is so, so important and that's why racket carriage is so important. Such a good attack, and he's uh, just missed it by a few centimetres. But everything was right about that shot, except for the margins. Really, really fierce hitting. And again, notice Hall at the uh, front of the court doing the damage but being set up by his partner and that's exactly what good men's doubles is about it's about um, forcing the lift hitting the right area and making your net player look good oh what a superb shot And to me, the shot of that rally was uh, Adam Hall had one 18, hit basically 14. into his body, and he's 
taken it on his forehand side and played a superb skillful cross court block and that was not easy that's what he does the hours of training for Somewhere there'd be some fighting around the front of the court here. And that's the sort of fighting I'm talking about. And there Cows tried exactly the same, same shot that uh, Adam Hall had got away with um, in the previous rally and uh, wasn't able to pull it off. Match point and a superb 14. performance by the uh, British pair. Um, I expected them to win. I expected them to uh, play well. They've been very, very professional, and um, not quite sure where they're ranked in Britain, but it'll be pretty high because they're a good, good pair. Sorry, false calls. Sorry, sour. Mills just called for 15, full serving there. 20. And it will be uh, racket head above waist. And all these boys will have a very border borderline service because at this level you need a borderline service. And there's that fencing Game. at the front of the court. And Mills got one back in that rally that was quite incredible. And a uh, very, very good win. 21-14, 21-15. Fair reflection of the match. And a superb men's doubles. That concludes my commentating for tonight. I uh, wish you good night. Please come match along to the uh, Emirates Arena if you're uh, an enthusiast of badminton because um, there's going to be some fabulous badminton over here over the next few days. Uh, uh, Quarterfinals tomorrow, uh, semi-finals Saturday. It should be a really good event to come along to. So please do come along and uh, support the Scottish players that are still left in and enjoy the matches. Thank you.